Senate Bill 283, relating exposure to radiation in schools in this state and declaring emergency. Thank you, Mr. President. I call this Senate Bill 283 my Wi-Fi bill. We in the United States are behind in examining the health effects of Wi-Fi, and Oregon will be taking a small step in this direction if we pass this bill. Around the world, many countries have stopped using Wi-Fi and started looking into the health effects caused by this technology. Is it an extreme to stop using Wi-Fi? Well, I hope not, because I certainly use Wi-Fi. I don't have enough information, though, to say that. But we can't keep our heads in the sand and pretend that maybe nothing is wrong. We need to do our due diligence to see if exposure to Wi-Fi could be harming kids in schools as well as in the rest of society. Did you know that children in schools are exposed for seven hours each day to high-frequency pulse-modulated microwave radiation and from high-signal power output wireless routers, laptops, tablets, smart boards, and cell phones? Exposure to Wi-Fi has left some children, not many, but some children and teachers already suffering from microwave sickness and has resulted in them no longer actually to be able to be, attend school or work in the schools. We do know that children are more susceptible to harm than adults and repeated exposure to microwave radiation is cumulative. Research shows that children's developing brains, eyes, and bone marrow absorb this radiation three to ten times deeper than adults. The United States National Toxicology Program recently completed ten studies, uh, and they released these uh, findings which concluded that there is a clear evidence of cancer and DNA damage from exposure to radio frequency radiation. And back in 2011, the World Health Organization classified microwave radiation from all wireless devices, including Wi-Fi, a Class B possible carcinogen. Be that as it may, we know that powerful industries in this country have a vested interest in leading the public to believe that electromagnetic frequency or electromagnetic radiation are harmless because we cannot see it, taste it, or touch it. Touch it. Industry's reach ca uh, carries over into government regular regulatory agencies also. Many high-profile health advocacy organizations and public policy makers are being influenced by money from these industries. This has resulted in a climate where legislation on behalf of public health and child safety is virtually non-existent in the U.S while many other countries have already started taking and are taking action. For many years, hundreds of scientists, medical professionals, and health researchers have been studying the biological effect of microwave radiation. And these include, but are not limited, to the American Academy of Pediatrics, the European Parliament, the governments of France, Germany, Cyprus, Bavaria, the American Academy of Environmental Medicine, the California Medical Association, and doctors from Harvard, Yale, and Columbia universities, even teachers unions and PTA groups. One router manufacturing company warns in their safety information to keep electromagnetic uh, frequency as low as possible. You should not place the router in rooms where children sleep or where people frequent because of the integrated antennas that emit and receive electromagnetic waves. The aim is to keep the exposure to radiation as low as possible. You know that right now there are some, many, or maybe most, I don't know if all, commercial liability insurance firms no longer insure policyholders for harm coming from microwave radiation. The disclaimer is even in the policy held by the Portland Public Schools, issued by their insurance, which reads, will not reimburse for cost of expense arising directly or indirectly out of, resulting from, caused, or contributed to by electromagnetic radiation, provided that such loss, cost, or expense result from or are contributed to by the hazardous properties of electromagnetic radiation. 
This includes any cost for the actual or threatened abatement, mitigation, or removal. So, and in addition to the risk of harm to children and others, the lack of insurance coverage basically leaves local school boards and state government liable for lawsuits. Despite media reports, parent advocacy informs school board members, rapidly accelerating numbers of scientific studies and international appeals by scientists and medical professionals, there has been no effort made by the Department of Ed, Department of Health, school boards, school superintendents, school safety officials, or the political establishment to protect children, teachers, and others from harm relating to wireless technology. We really do need to start informing te students, teachers, parents, and school employees of the manufacturer's safety information, which they have when you buy that equipment, that is, it is included with every wireless device that warns users to keep tablets, laptops, cell phones, and wireless routers away from their bodies. Maryland has actually is the first state to implement a plan in the United States to look at how Wi-Fi is affecting people. And I hope you look at, at a couple of the floor letters that are on, the, on your desk. So this is what the bill does. All it does, it requires the Oregon Health Authority to review scientific studies regarding the health effects of exposure to microwave radiation from the use of wireless network technologies in schools and then the bill also requires the Oregon Department of Education to develop recommendations for schools that would reduce, not eliminate, but would reduce the students' exposure to the types of microwave radiation um, uh, that might be harmful. So as a former public health nurse, I know that I've been made fun of for having this bill, but I really think it is important to look at technology advancement advancements from a public health perspective, and I urge an I vote. Discussion? Senator Monis Anderson, any final remarks? Question I write upon third reading final passage. Senate Bill 283B, those opinion of bills passed, those opposed, no clerk, please call the roll. Burdick. Dembro. Fagan. Frederick. Yes. Gelser. Yes. Gerard. Yes. Golden. Hansel. Hansel. Hass. Heard. Johnson. Knope. Linthicum. Manning. Manning. Modest Anderson. Olson. Brzezanski. Riley. Roblin. Steiner Hayward. Taylor. Thatcher. Thompson. Wagner. Barrett Sugar, Benz, Benz, Buyer, President Courtney, Excuse, Boquist, Fagan, Hansel, Manning, 25 I votes. 283B, ABC, the Constitution, George Clare, Paris.